Wait, hold on. Is it on? Oh my God. Is it on? Is it on, honey? Is this thing recording? Well, the red light is flashing, so that means yes, it is. What's up, YouTube land, Twitter land, Instagram land, Snapchat, and the lands all across the land. This is your girl, T.S. Madison, and I am coming to you loud, loud, and in color from the Star on Fox after show. Ladies and gentlemen, this show is hosted by me, but sponsored by Fox. I'm, I'm so... I'm so at a loss for words tonight. Were you guys watching the show? If you were not watching the show, don't even, I, I can't. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight my guest, my guest tonight is Sean Bankhead. Sean Bankhead is the choreographer for the show. Tell him what you do over there, Star. What up, what up? I'm the uh, choreographer slash creative um, for the performances and all the fantasies that happen on Star. Is this thing like I'm so <laughs> that shit was crazy this episode. <laughs> crazy as fuck. I'm so at a loss for words. Like I did I, I legit wanted to just cry. The show was so <clears throat> in, intense tonight. It was intense. It was it was pop. Yeah, everything. The words that you wanna you wanna say is like, oh my god. So but we have to wait because this is just the mid-season finale. Nine more episodes. Sean, did you see that tonight? Listen, let me first of all, first of all, let me start off by saying the two scenes that you put together tonight for mm -hmm. imagination. Mm -hmm. And so sick. And so sick. They were great. Uh, and the, the girls looked good. The choreography was great. The routine was great. The song. Thank you. But I'm, I'm, I just got finished watching and I'm so lost in emotion tonight was so emotional yeah. i don't know for, for some reason i just almost really felt like coming to complete tears you know looking at that because to be honest with you that's yeah. something that that we we i don't slightly experienced you know and that's why it is so lee daniels he he has a way of um really telling a lot of people's truths, you know what I mean? Yeah. And I know what you mean, like, even just the, the whole the crazy ex situation and just every detail of that whole storyline is real and sad. It was... It, yeah, how did it Cotton. make you feel? How did it yeah. really make you feel? It, it really breaks my heart, especially for Cotton, because she can't catch a break. You know, like, as soon as she starts to get her life on track, some fuck shit happens, you know, and they just really, like... Bitch, I was like, good as the trade done got out of prison. <laughs> he done killed the best man. Right. He has killed the best man ever for her. Ever for her. And I was so caught up in like, oh my gosh, she finally has a good man. You know what I'm saying? He may not have the biggest piece of candy, but she, she got a <laughs> piece of candy. He was about to buy, he's buying her a house. And you know, she she was torn between the prison trade. Right. The prison trade, and I got out and I killed her husband. I killed her husband. Oh my. Oh. oh. Well, Cotton must got some good pussy because that man, <laughs> yeah, they're going he crazy. went all out. And, 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 and who do you think set the salon on fire? That's a great question. I. I really feel like it leaves it up to so... I, you have no clue. I have no clue. Because, look, if you look in the beginning when the show opened up, Carlotta had to fire Miss Bruce because Miss mm -hmm. Bruce was freaking doing butt injections. Mm -hmm. You think Miss Bruce is... Miss um, Bruce, you a girl, honey. You know you ain't supposed to be doing no damn illegal butt injections <laughs> at the salon. You know them damn fish gonna come and tell somebody what you was doing, duh. <laughs> Done got Carlotta's. Oh my God! Jesus. So it does leave you to thinking, like, who burned down? The, who burned down the show? Who do you think did it? Who? Who would you? Who would like, be number one? Who has the motive? I mean, psh, Omari. You know, because after he just done choked out Cotton. Well, that's first on my list. You know, there's but, Omari. But that's funny that you say Miss Bruce because yeah, cause you know, I wouldn't count out Miss Bruce. She, she looks too messy. Miss Bruce is messy, mm -hmm. and the thing about it is, you got to look at Miss Bruce is the queen. 
She not just mess because you could be a messy and be a, a woman, right. but Miss Bruce is a messy queen. Miss Bruce, gonna get you. she gonna get you. Yeah. I mean, she dug up that dirt. Right? She dug yeah. that dirt up her the sink, bitch sink. Sink, bitch sink. Ain't that it? <laughs> Is that it? Ain't that it? I was cracking up at that shit. And you, all you could think about was me, wasn't it? Exactly. Uh huh. Yeah, ain't that it? Ain't that it? <laughs> so, oh my God, I gotta get. I just had to come from the raw emotion. Let me get on here. Okay. Carlotta's in the hospital. Yeah. And uh, this is a new approach for Star. Did you like it? Did you like this approach right tonight? What you mean for her and like Noah? Or yes. Like yeah, this is a new star, I would say. I feel like she always gets what she wants. She's abrasive. She don't hold her tongue. And especially when it comes to, I feel like she really fucked with um, Noah. And I feel like after her seeing what happened with Noah and Alex, she definitely has um, got, gut got gutted, you know? She yeah. feel it. She feel it. She feel it. She went in she a, a rampage. Now listen, high yield, <laughs> the most underhanded, slimy, right. messy trade. Uncle. Uncle, excuse me, Uncle. <laughs> The messiest uncle in the United States of America right. got played by his own nephew and the group that are turned on him. Mm -hmm. uh, did you see all that snow? It, it was snowing in Atlanta the other day, but it, he damn sure. Ah. He was down there. He was tanning it up. It was sniffling noses everywhere, baby. <laughs> what do you think is going to yeah. happen with Hayil? Did you see him stretched out on the floor? It's, it, it's so... Lee. I mean, uh, thank you. Lee, this is Lee's problem because, Lee, why would you leave that so wide open like that? I mean, there is there is literally not an ounce of hint of what's going to happen in the next, I don't even know. At all, you don't know who lives, who dies. Yeah. yeah. This mid-season finale was like... Stressful. It was. It, I was stressed. <laughs> girl, I was over here trying to get my edges right, girl. It was just snatching my edges out, honey. It was really... Uh, it took my breath. You know, no many things take my breath. Cause you, you, now, when I walked in, you were so handsome. You took my breath away. I said, look at this cute man. I, I asked you, was you going to teach me all that choreography you do on the show? You going to teach can. me how to throw these, these legs back like this? Put this Wait, I don't need to teach you because you just did it. I just got to put this You got to stretch a little point that toe. There's a little five. Uh, Is that a pivot? Leash, I feel like you need to go to the next episode. I don't know. I need to be somewhere. In the strip club. No, I don't want to be in a strip club. I'm a, I'm a deadly character. I'm, if I was ever, if I was on that show, I would fuck Amari up. I would come kill Amari. Oh yeah, I'm. Oh, I was talking about dancing. Because Cotton is, I dance on him. Just yeah. I, he'll be, the, oh. he'll he'll be like, I like that nasty one over there. You know what we could do? I like that Make nasty like a dance where you like trying to seduce and, and kill him. Like, I like that nasty transsexual. I'll be like, come on, Amari, come put these boots up in the air. Uh oh. Just yeah. like that. <laughs> And then slam my ass down on his face and choke him and, and smother him till he's dead. Uh-oh. <laughs> Cotton better not be dead. Better not. Cotton better not be dead. Better not. Uh, I'm so, I want to do the show right, but I was full of emotion tonight. Mm -hmm. I had to take a shot. Bitch, did you see Derek Toe move in the chair? Right. That's another thing. You know, I... <laughs> Star writers... Listen, those writers over there at Star, they need a they need an Oscar Emmy, whatever it is, yeah. whatever the award they get for the, the writing was amazing tonight. Yeah. I, it had me clenching my my chest, grabbing my pearls. Mm -hmm. I was most of grabbing them down here because you lay pearls down. Down there. They still think. Bitch. So I got so many questions to ask you, but I don't want mm -hmm. you to give me these spoilers because you work over there, you know. Right. I don't want... Well, can I say something though? Yes. You know, working on the show is one of, like the most, one of the best experiences I've ever had. But I, I did the first season, mm -hmm. and I learned that I don't like to fully be involved. Like I'll read the script, I'll know exactly what's happening. I have to be involved in the production meetings, all that shit. But I like, I'm still a fan of the show, so I like watching the show and still being surprised. So this season, I kind of was like, I skimmed through the script. I need to know what I need to know. But I sit here and I watch just as, you know, surprised as the viewers. I love it. I, I, it's one of my favorite shows. So, so you were sitting next to me. I was live tweeting, mm -hmm. which you guys should be live tweeting every, every time. <sighs> Bitch. <laughs> Cotton, please come back. Get up, Cotton. Please, please. Who set Carlotta shop on fire? Hayil, are you dead? <laughs> Don't you speak? Right. Me and Miss Bruce prayed for him three weeks ago for him to stop <laughs> snorting all that damn powder. That ain't gonna happen. I'm in love. Ayana, now, now tonight, 
I was really rooting that Carlotta whoop Ayana ass. Oh. I've been praying all since Ayana was introduced to the season that Carlotta come and put them hands on her. Boo. Boo. I've been praying that Carlotta tear that ass up. Right. And but Ayana's father came in. Yeah. Wreck shop, yeah. snatched the cat back from the from the from uh from Ayana. Mm -hmm. She was left there because she came in with such a nasty disposition toward the girls yeah. and Carlotta. And at the end, in the mid season, it done been turned all the way back around. Yeah, around. she did a full 180. I, I love that about her character too because I wasn't expecting that when I first um, when they, when she first was introduced I thought she was just about, about to be the bitch on the show you um, know, running everything but it was a nice surprise yeah Simone we got to get Simone off them Quaaludes is them Quaaludes Zannies Percocets they Xanax Percocets Quaaludes Molly's yeah she fucked up she listened to that young thug what's some people name that do Percocet uh, what's Future. his name Future uh -huh. Percocet hey, I can Percocet, Percocet. what. Perfect step. Check. check. I can check. Gone. Exactly. And she's and she like she taking them different types of ways. Like she yeah. She fucked up the performance. She's crushing them up. Girl, I thought she was gonna do a Mickey Howard on the stage. <laughs> oh my. You know how Mickey Howard was on this stage. She was saying she was in love on the new management. Sure. <laughs> There's a light. You remember that? <laughs> remember Mickey Howard was like. There's a light. Yeah, girl. Oh. Didn't know Nan was. There's a light. But the, but listen. I know you weren't gonna let them mess your performance up like that because the way, <laughs> what what is it that makes you? Do you look at the characters mm -hmm. or you you do you study the girls individually and you start making them say, okay, I want you to bend over to the front because yeah. they were really raunchy tonight. Yeah, it was. Did you put all that stuff together? Them I here? did, I did. Them blindfolding the boys, yeah, they gotta use their imagination. Like you gotta think about it. Like they was telling the niggas use their imagination. So I was like, you should blindfold. Anyways. Um, is there something that question, you had that you that huh? you experienced? You that, just, huh? Did you bring your own life personal experiences to the choreography? Yeah, I, I, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. So I, you, you mean have to? Yeah, absolutely. So you mean to tell me somebody <laughs> had blindfolded you and put you in a chair? No, but I was blind. Oh, you did. All right. No. So back to your question. No, so, no, no, no. so back to your question. Um, yeah, you you have to um. Being a choreographer, like I work with, you know, artists and, and you know, um, like in the real industry, but working on a television show, you have to respect their characters. And a lot of times we'll go into rehearsal as Jude, you know, Ryan and Brittany, mm -hmm. and you have to create as Star, Alex, and and um, and Simone. So yeah, we have to take that in consideration. You know, I have to choreograph around her having an, a drug overdose. You know, so it's interesting when the director is like, okay, I need you to choreograph something, and in the middle, I need Simone to have drug overdose. And you're like, oh, fuck, how the fuck you want me to do that? But, you want her to wobble, but you want her to be like, yeah, so you have to stage her, you have to choreograph To do a Mickey Howard. There's a light. Oh <laughs> There's a light. <laughs> you seen Mickey Howard do that on the Mickey Howard story? I, I don't. Mm. Right. I love Mickey Howard, but she was, there's a light. She's fucked up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, let me get down here, because I got to, all right. Alex and Noah. Yeah. I wanted to see it go down, and I ain't even gonna lie. Yeah. I wanted to, I wanted you to choreograph old nasty old nasty sex dance and that honey. Well, I could have watched it all go down in the back room back there. <laughs> but Derek rolling in the chair, you know his toe Damn. had done moved. Damn. His toe had done moved a little bit, honey, like a little lightning had done went through his spine and toe had done moved. That song started moving in. I listen, my tweet specifically said. Derek, get up out that chair and put feet to somebody's ass right now. Put your foot in somebody's ass right now. Pick your foot, the, the one toe that's working, break that yeah. toe off in somebody's ass. I don't care if it's Alex's ass or if it's uh, 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 Noah's ass. Break that toe off in somebody's ass. How do you feel about their relationship, though? Damn. Oh. That shit is tough because I don't, as far as Noah, I feel like it's genuine. As far as Alex, I feel like it's genuine. And as far as, um, I just feel like all of it is genuine. It just sucks because that's like the natural falling in love and lusting and, and, and all of that. It's just, it is just a natural progression and it just fucking sucks. I don't even But I won't, I honestly would want Star 
to mm-hmm. be with Noah because really? because Noah I say this every with when I'm with everybody mm-hmm. Star and Noah are the bad boys but he's the bad boy mm-hmm. she's the bad girl mm-hmm. I want them to be together I mm-hmm. do Alex was just like a a, a, a third wheel you don't think that's trouble like too bad yes but that's why you fucking that's why I mess. Yes, yeah, so I'm fucking with it like that because I need it to be like that. Just like I honestly, now you want me to be honest. If Omari wasn't really crazy as hell like that okay. and choked Cotton into the next dimension, I really wanted her to get whole nasty old rough rider trade to be tearing that pussy <laughs> up. I had to tweet Cotton and say, Cotton, you must got some real good pussy because this man is killing up everybody. Some good pussy. pussy. <laughs> real good pussy. A good piece of pussy. With a W. <laughs> okay, now, um, oh, I asked you that already. Uh, so sick. Now that was well choreographed too. Can you give me? Can you give me something deep into that? Like a deep. Tell me something mm-hmm. that the that the viewers mm-hmm. wouldn't have known. Um, well, once again, um, so shout out to our our great um, director of this episode, Billy Woodruff. <clears throat> he had this idea of hey, having. Billy. Yep. What's up, Billy? Um, having uh, Alex float to Noah. So I was like, okay, dope. And then I, what I wanted to do is I kind of wanted to play off of their relationship in, uh, in the choreography, meaning when they, they have so much tension when they finally meet and then something breaks where they're just over it and they just keep missing each other. And they never really look each other in the eyes. They're back to back, and then all of a sudden they kind of back up into each other, and they lock eyes, and that's when they really notice, like, fuck, like I really, really like each other, yeah. And it kind of progresses and builds to them getting back onto that revolving, the floating stage, and then um, again we knew that there was going to be a kiss, and we had put it a little bit earlier in the routine, um, and our other um, our incredible, incredible visionary Chris Robinson was like, put that kiss at the very fucking end, right before we go to commercial. And I was like, genius. And um, so yeah, you know, a lot of those things are are staged and choreographed to perfection. Like we really take time to, um, we don't just get there, you know, and just throw it together, you know. So yeah. How, how, how do you think that that whole destructive love triangle is going to pan out in the spring. It's bad. It's bad. I will say this, and I know, like, you know, people who are watching, uh, you know, whatever, but the second part of this season two is incredible. It really, like, it really, like, takes it to a whole nother level. And, again, like, I probably leave the, 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 the writers because it's just shit that I don't see on TV, you know? I just, I really, be, I want Derry to get, I, I make Derry mm-hmm. get up. As soon as you teach me how to put that bitch back like that, that's your move. Huh? I'm gonna get Omari. I'm gonna get Derry. Uh huh. Hell, I'll even get Hyia to stop snorting that shit. Mm. Damn. I bring me everything hey, hey, hey. hey, hey, hey. hey, hey. hey, hey. the baby. Well, I bring me. Oh my God. Well. Let me tell you something, baby. It's been a pleasure. You've given me a little insight. I know you're quite looking like you're a little shy. I had to come in here and try to bring that. It's all y'all cute ones be shy like that. Will we be seeing more of your choreography? That's going to be my last question for you tonight in the, in the spring. Absolutely. I will say um, the season opener of the second half of the season starts with a huge number. I'm extremely excited about I don't want to say who's involved with, but um, that's probably my favorite number. I did I see Patty. I did see Brandy. I did see him in the teasers. I saw yeah. Patty LaBelle, Brandy. Yeah. Patty Brandy. Oh, my God. So that's a couple more names coming this season. Uh, Quavo from oh, Migos. I did see. Yeah. I, I, I've been watching the Instagram. Make sure you're following Star on Fox Facebook, Star on Fox Instagram, and Twitter, because they be releasing stuff. Oh, my God. I'm so yeah, excited. Yes. Yes. Baby, listen. I want to thank you, Sean. Thank you. Thank you for having me in your lovely home. Ladies and gentlemen, I do thank you guys for watching the Star on Fox mid-season finale. Make sure when the spring comes back, you tune in to the show and you tune in right here to my page. And this is the official Star on Fox after show, honey. Thank you guys for tuning in. I love you. Let's send prayers up for Cotton. If y'all want to send a flower. If she did, if y'all want to send a flower, we got to get a P.O. box. We got to start We got to start a GoFundMe for Cotton's funeral or something because, bitch, I know Carlotta shop told her, Carlotta and the hospital. It's so much going on. 
Oh, well. Get ready to tune back in in the spring. I love you guys, and I will see you soon. Kisses, smooches, and ciao. Give them a kiss. Give them some sugar. <laughs> Bye. Is how the hell you turn this goddamn... <laughs> do you do it like Mickey Howard? There's a light.